Hello, and welcome to another video. Something a little bit different on this one. Way up there, as he jams his finger twice and has to go to A&E and there is no video. I'm finally getting round to doing my van up. Put windows in, two windows either side, tuck bulkhead out and that's it. So it's just a blank canvas. And we're gonna start today with doing the soundproofing, insulation and all them fun jobs. So stay tuned. We'll be doing some of the cutting of the wood and prepping of the materials for the van in there. So we'll have a look at that in a bit. But today the mission is just to get the sound deadening done and the insulation so we know where we're at. We've taken all wood panels out, keeping them to one side because we'll either use them again or use them as templates to make some out of some other clobber of the same thickness or maybe a bit thicker. Um, we've just unscrewed the floor, we're taking the floor out now. Watch your drill up the floor there, mate. Yep. Yeah. Time so you can go through down, spot. No, you can't. You can't, you're you can't wrong, isn't like you? You're wrong. Oh, look, she's all nude. Down to the bare bones. Ready for some sound deadening and insulating in these cavities, which we shall get on with now. It's not whether it'll work or not. We're. Uh, People might be following this. People might be watching this and thinking, I'm gonna follow them and do a good job on my camper van. So if we're just half arsing it, there'll be a lot of people who've also accidentally half arsed it. And speaking of half arsing it, what a lot of people will tell you to do is use this sound deadening stuff all over inside your van. You don't need to do that, especially if you can't get hold of it in time. <laughs> all you need to do is, we've got two bits, haven't we, so? We're cutting them down into 100 mil. 100 mil strips. 100 mil strips, that's all you need. One on each panel and that'll just absorb um, the majority of the noise. And if you, especially if you, your van's relatively new, then you don't have to worry about it too much. So that's what we're doing now. 100 mil splinters. It's not my first rodeo. Look at that. There we go, glider. Oh yeah, I got glider. It's all I made earlier. <laughs> Full van <Yeah>. done. <laughs> Yeah, finished. So these are self-adhesive. Rizzlers. No, you can't. You say things like that. Don't make my work hard for me. Right. You would think it looked better like that or like that, but I think that would annoy a lot of people, wouldn't it? Probably. The OCD crew. Yeah. It annoys me. Yeah. Should we do that? Yeah, go for it. Looks better, doesn't it? I reckon. And that's it. As you can see, look. Silent. Yeah? Scream. Well, watch. <laughs> <Good. laughs> We've put a bit of deadening on panels, and the next job is to use this. We've got this 10 mil thermo liner, which is, which is insulative, and it'll also help deaden the sound as well. So we're gonna cut that out, clamp ceiling, and all the walls. Two, two point five. That's nice as that. And let's just buy the other end, make sure we're fitting flush. Bit over it like oh, I've mated it on purpose so you get a, f a, f a f fit. Don't swear, oh, sorry. otherwise I can't, you make right. it work for me. Okay, you've done a, a spade for it. It's perfect. It's good. You see how I've mated that there, lads and lasses. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Close up. Right. right, let's get a. Yeah, that's as flush as it can be, that, innit? Proper flush. Right, let's get them stuck on. It's starting to get dark so it lights fading on us and it's just more of the same we're just measuring up and we're using this insulation and fitting it everywhere that the metal has air on the other side basically so not on here but on here and we'll fill all that but it's a uh, you can see you don't have much room to work with and then there's all these wires and it goes right back there so you've got to get them tucked in don't pull this off because once it sticks it is stuck so you want to leave 
leave a bit on to help you slide off and get in and then then remove that but it's a bit of a laborious painstaking part of the build this so we're just going to bat on so there we go it's a bit of a mess in here but we've got the sound deadening on and insulation in there Right, we're back again. Today's plan, we're gonna insulate the wheel arches, fill all the cav, so I've got on a bit ill, fill all the cavities with insulation, and then we're gonna clad the floor, which is a pain because all these raised bits are so close together, and I wanna get a, a timber frame in there, and then use like king span insulation in the gaps so there's a lot of thinking and a lot of cutting of wood so we're going to do that get the four in got some 12 mil ply to go over the top of that that'll be floor done and i think i'm just going to put some lino down on it get, get some some wood looking lino and whack that down on there <laughs> yeah. right we're here in old york What's it called? Workshop. Old York Workshop. It's in its embryo stages of a workshop. We've only just come up with name, but this is Bill from Old York Hiya. Workshop. Hello. <laughs> and he's going to be helping me. He's the brains behind this. I'm the looks. He's the brains. So we're going to get this wood that Bill's going to tell you a little bit about. And we're going to do something with it, aren't we? What so, have we got? So this is just basic CLS that you can get from any, any builder's merchants. And we're going to cut it into 25 mil lats to build up the floor to the right level so we can get the insulation in. So there's not many I don't think that have proper insulation in, in the bottom of these caravans. So we're going to do a job proper. Yes, that's what we want. And Bill's got all the tools here. He's got, look, you can see this. What's this, Bill? The table saw. The table saw. This is a table saw. Yeah. Let's do a little tour of things. This is obviously, we know what these it's are. It's the chop saw, it's the chop saw. Bandsaw. Bandsaw. Dust <laughs> extractor. Mortiser. Mortiser. Pillar drill. Pillar drill. <laughs> Engineer's lathe. Engineer's lathe. So we've got metal work going on in here. We've got woodwork going in on in here. We've got amazing motorbikes going on in here. We've got a fire going on in here. And he's built all this suspended roof. It's pretty impressive to be fair. To be finished yet. And so there's going to be a lot more projects coming out of this place in the future. I will leave a link to Bill's future YouTube channel. It doesn't exist at the moment, but we're going to work on it. So if that's your thing, if you like engineering, woodwork, maybe a bit of bike tinkering, then I'll leave it downstairs. You can check it out. Right, come on. Let's get, to get some lead ripped down. And what good. sort of PPE do you think you should wear for this bill? Bugger all. <laughs> a condom maybe? Don't do PPE in it. No, we can't, we have to. We have to. We summer. We'll get you a crash helmet or something. Crash helmet, earphones, condom. <laughs> yeah, condom. <laughs> Might have to cut it down a bit. Alright, so because wearing gloves isn't going to do you no favours here, because that's not going to, no. you know, you're going to lose your finger in a glove or not, aren't you, so... So maybe some eye protection, maybe some ear protection. Do it properly, do as we say, not as we do. Well, what you do is you can bring your saw down a bit so it's just above the surface of the wood, then you've got minimum saw visible, so fingers are a bit safer. Yeah. So anyway, we do dust extract as well, so I'll put that on next. Yeah, we extract the dust. And Bill's done this for many, many, many years. He knows what he's doing, so. Never built a van before, though, so it could be a right mess. <laughs> So it's always fingers away from the blade. Fingers away from the blade. And there you go. So right, that's, yeah, that's just a finished article then. That's just ready to go, yeah. 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 And these will go on the base of the floor so that we can put our king span in between this and, and then put our 12 mil ply on top. Yeah. Crack on. <laughs> right, that's good, mate. That's good. Can we get me to uh, pull him one, push him one yeah. a bit through? So we'll do it. And then I'll cut all your shit out and just put mine on. <laughs> <laughs> So hazy. <laughs>
I'm I'm just, I do know how to, and I do know how to do all this, by the way. <laughs> I taught him everything he knows, but just for the sake of teaching you guys, I'm gonna play the part of a guy who doesn't know. Commence. <laughs> okay, so uh, first of all, you put your finger still there like that. Yeah. yeah, you can do your fingernails quite easily. <laughs> so we set this up for the batons that we need now at 25 mil. So that's dialed in here. Yeah. So. There's a little window there, whether you can see it or not, you guys. So we've got 25mm yeah. dialed in there, mil. that's locked off. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Get the panel saw, mm. so it's a straight line. So we'll do it on this one first. Do you want a set square? Yeah, or, or a panel saw, anything. Yeah, we'll get the job. So. It's amazing, it's amazing, because then you can just make stuff as you need it to be, don't you? You can just custom make it. And that's the whole point of Old York Workshop. <laughs> right, back on. Yeah. Right. Mad. I've got some aluminium tape. I'm just going over bigger bits and bigger rolls with the tape. This also acts as a vapour barrier, and it looks a lot neater, look. Well, it matters, it's going to be covered over forever, isn't it? So while Bill works on the frame for the floor, we're going to use some of this stuff. It's just from B&Q, it's loft insulation, and it's made out of recycled plastic bottles. So it's not going to hold moisture like wool would. And we're going to just fill all these cavities with it. Anywhere there's a cavity, we're just ramming this stuff in. Being careful at wires. And wires are going to go to the front of it. Guys, Laying our frame that we've glued down just with some adhesive and we're filling that with some 25mm king span into the floor <laughs> that'll make it super warm won't it? Super warm! Moment of proof Love. We've got all the timber in. This has been cut down to size so that when 25 mil uh, king span goes in, it's flush, and that'll give a good insulation. Like I say, we're going to go 12 mil ply that Bill's just cut out so it goes around the wheel arch. He's going to go and use his jigsaw to cut that out. That'll slide in part of two halves and we'll do this side. Screw that to these and then that's it. That's the base of the floor. That's all the insulation, sound deadening, done. Use this aluminium foil tape 
and go over all these lats just to protect it from moisture. Filmmaker at Year Award. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, plyboard, flushing in two bits. All right, we're back at it. We're just gonna mark out these boards where we need to, we might need a hammer, Bill. Oh no, we're all right, we're all right. We're marking out for, for our pre-drilled holes. What we're doing at the moment, we're trimming the panels off so we get a nice flush finish with the batten underneath. So when we finish it off with a piece of oak, We've got a nice finish. Right, nice. And then we're going to mark, we've marked all the buttons there. So then we'll strike a line across them all, pre-drill it. So, you know, we'll get a nice finish with the screws into the plywood, countersink them. And then it won't show through the line off. Perfect. And then these are going nowhere. Yeah, perfect. Right, another little trick we can do, I'll go and get a knife out of the shop. If we put a saw line down there, when you put the saw through it, because the saw blade's cutting upwards, it won't splinter all this off. So Top tips. There you go, top tips, that's why we're here. At Old York Workshop. mil screws they'll go through our pre-sorted holes into our frame jobs are good. and jobs are done up there we go I'll give it a good brush out right. I went round a load of carpet and floor places and they often have um, end of rolls or bit that's bits that they've cut off or whatever and they'll be wrapped up in specific sizes and they'll be going cheap and I, and he, I just so happened to find some of this stuff. I was only going to be using the cheap stuff anyway because we were on a budget. Yeah, it was 80 quid. I got him down to 60 quid with a bit of Yorkshire haggling. So we got him down to 60 quid for the floor, so that was a bargain. So, so I recommend just going to carpet showrooms and stuff and just getting bits that they've got all wrapped up in certain sizes. You might get lucky, but it's definitely worth a try. Lino's all cut. Oh, you can't see what this is because we're losing our light, but it's no nonsense spray contact adhesive. Size a kite! <laughs> <laughs> There it is. Wood liner looks good, doesn't it? Looks like real wood, mate. So that's part one of the budget van build finished. We've done the sound deadening, the insulation. We've insulated the floor. We've put a floor in, laminated it. And we've come up with a, a design for a U shape in the back here with some fancy little extras. And that'll all be getting built in the next episode so stay tuned if you're not subscribed already uh, please consider subscribing and hit the bell notification if you want to be notified of the next upload I'm coming down with something mate <laughs> I'm tired and I'm cold thanks for watching we'll see you soon Goodbye. <laughs>